find your breath, try to stay here for a while, give the mind a place to rest. It spends the day thinking about this, thinking about this, running around. And if it doesn't have a place to settle down, and John Lee's image is of a plane that doesn't have a place to land. And there's no airfield, you end up just flying and flying and flying until you run out of fuel, and then you crash down into the sea or into the forest. So give the mind a place to, to land, give it a landing strip, be with the breath, make the breath comfortable, and try to be on good terms with it. Regard the body in the present moment as a safe place to stay. So the mind can rest, gain a sense of well-being, gain a sense of belonging here. Because there is no happiness aside from peace, as the Buddha said. We can find pleasures and things that make the mind move, 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 but it's, it's a hot kind of pleasure. And there's no rest, there's no ease around it. There's a lot of tension. Or it's the happiness that comes from being still and allowing the mind to have some time by itself without having to think about issues of the past, issues of the future, or even what's going on in the world outside right now, but just being right here and allowing it to let its thoughts fall by the side. That's a safe place for the mind to land. So when you find yourself running around, running around, flying around here, flying around there, remember you've got a, a landing strip. Try to keep the landing strip in good, good repair. Don't let there be a lot of holes here and uh, obstacles there. That way you'll be safe. You can think when you want to think and don't think when you don't want to think. As the Buddha said, that's a sign of a person who's mastered his or her mind. Otherwise we're the slaves to our thoughts. They force us to think and we have to go along with them. They're in charge, which is not a good state of affairs. You want to have the mind in charge. You want to, you want to be in charge. And then you get a better and better sense of what really is worth thinking and what's not worth thinking. And you find that you spend more and more time on your landing strip with a sense of belonging here. When the time comes to think, you take off, take care of what needs to be done, then fly right back. That's when your mind is a friend, when it's your ally. You're the one in charge.